Alright guys, I'm going to show you a quick way to change the wheels on a car in Photoshop. This way is easy and doesn't take long. By doing this you will need two pictures. One will need to be the car you want and the other are the wheels you want. Or just use another car with the wheels like me. For this I will use a Range Rover and put Ferrari wheels on it. Just follow my steps. So here's the two images. What you have to do, go on to Photoshop. Okay, that's open. Go on to your pictures or wherever the images are located. Drag the pic the first picture onto Photoshop so it opens. Now mine always pops up with this little squares which is annoying. And then create a new layer. Click on the background. Hit control and A on the keyboard. So that selects everything. Hit control and C to copy click on the layer, layer 1, control and V to paste. Now you can click on background and press delete so you've just got one layer with a picture. Next, drag the picture of the other car or the wheels onto a new tab. Once it's there, do the same again. So, new layer, background, control A, Control C, layer 1, Control V. Go on to background, press delete. There you go. Now I use Control and plus to zoom in. And again. So there's the picture of the, the wheels. Then hit this up here. And then slowly go around wheel. This can uh, take some time but you tend to get better at it the more you use Photoshop. Now there are other ways of selecting the wheel. I'll just find this one easiest. There you go. Now you've selected all the wheel. So then hit Control and C. And then go on to your first tab. Then Control plus. So you've zoomed in. Get to the location, Control plus. And hit Control and V. Now there's the wheel. Go on to so you can move it around. Then drag it where you want. Now you can either make it this big. I'll leave it this big. Hit Control minus so you zoom out. There you go, it looks pretty good. Then go into your tab again, scroll along, go to your other wheel, and do exactly the same. There you go. Hit Control C to copy. Go onto your first tab. Zoom in. Go to the area you want. Control plus. Control V. There you go. Move it around with that. Put it where you want. And there you go. That looks pretty cool. Now, if you want to make the wheels bigger, here as we've copied them they've gone on to new layers so if you as this one is the rear wheel hit control T and that will move that will that will allow you to um, allow you to change the shape of it so if we zoom in again now hit, if, if you hit alt and then drag the corner that can do it like that but see it changes shape too easy and it's hard to get up to um, a big size by keeping the resolution sort of the same so that's no good it looks pretty good there but it'll take some working 
So if you hit Control T again, then drag the corner, but hold Shift. That keeps the aspect of it, but allows you to make it a lot bigger. So say if we want it that big, there we go, and drag it there. That's what I think. About there, and hit Enter. If you can move it with the arrow keys, if you, if you tap it and then move it with the arrow keys, I think about there's good. So that's that wheel enlarged. Hit Control minus to zoom out. And there it looks pretty good there. A bit big, a bit bumpy on the road. Hit Control plus to zoom in again. Go to the first wheel. Now you go on to layer 2, because that's where that wheel is. Hit Control T and hold Shift as you drag the corner. That'll make it bigger. Now that looks a bit big, so. A bit big. Because you want them the same size, unless you want them differently, but then just drag that, use the arrow keys if you want. I'll make it a bit smaller. And there you go. Move it up with a tinsy bit. That makes it look a lot better or a lot different. It's up to you how you want to do it. Then if you want to save it like that. File, save as. Now I'll just save it to my desktop. See, it always saves as a Photoshop file. So you have to go, if you want it JPEG, which is um, a small size but high resolutions, just click that, save it what you want to desktop, save. Now this is how um, you want the quality to be. As you drag this, it'll be a smaller size, but the quality will be less. As you drag it larger, the size of it will get larger, and the quality will be better. So I always go for quality 12, if I can. Press OK, and then minimise it. There you go, it's on the desktop as a JPEG. I hope this has helped you today, and you can do it so many different ways. Thanks for watching, and there'll be more videos up soon. Like, subscribe, and comment if this helped you. Cheers.